I'm Ryan from ExtremeTerrain.com and in this video I'm going to walk you through how to choose a lift kit for your JK. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to check out other helpful videos and some great Jeep content. Now picking a lift kit for your JK is all about what size tire you want to run on your Jeep and if you're having trouble making that decision, check out our video on how to choose a tire. So today I'm going to walk you through the four main sizes of lift kits that you can get for a JK and I'll give you my recommendation on which tire is going to work best with each of those lifts. For a leveling kit, we have the TerraFlex leveling kit without shocks. A two and a half inch lift, we have the Rough Country two and a half inch with shocks. We also have the JKS J-Spec three and a half inch J-Control lift kit. And finally, a TerraFlex four inch lift kit with flex arms. So let's get into it. If you plan on running a stock tire on your Jeep or maybe a 31, a small 32, but you still want to level out the ride height and get rid of that factory rake, then a leveling kit is going to be a good option for you. Now there are some people out there running 33s or even 35s on their Jeep with a flat fender and just a leveling kit, but you have to know that you're going to give up a lot of up travel with a setup like that. So if you plan on going off-road at all, I would recommend sticking with a stock or a smaller tire, again around 31, 30 two inches for just a leveling kit. You're also going to want to ensure that if you go with a slightly larger tire that you go ahead and set up your bump stops properly to eliminate any chance of damage. Now if you do want to go with a leveling kit I highly recommend taking a look at this TerraFlex leveling kit without shocks. This is going to come with a pair of coil spring spacers for the front of the Jeep and a set for the rear as well so it is going to give you a little bit of lift all the way around but again this is designed specifically to level out the ride height of your Jeep not so much to give you a lot of lift and it does come with a new set of sway bar end links these you put in the rear of the Jeep moving the factory rear sway bar end links up to the front giving you all of the length you need to run your Jeep at the slightly higher and more level ride height. If you want to run a set of 33 inch tires on your Jeep I would recommend two and a half inches of lift. Of course you can run a smaller even a factory size tire on two and a half inches of lift but I personally think it's going to look a little bit funny and there are some guys that go up to a 35 inch tire on two and a half inches of lift but you have to remember that anytime you run a bigger tire on a smaller lift you are going to give up some up travel and you may have to make some tweaks to the suspension to ensure you don't have any issues with the tires contacting the body. If you are looking to run 33 inch tires on your Jeep and you'd like two and a half inches of lift, I'd recommend taking a look at this rough country two and a half inch lift kit with shocks for an economical solution. This kit's going to include your taller coil springs, your shocks, and also some brake line extension brackets, but not a lot of the other bells and whistles that can come with a lift kit that can drive up the cost. So this is going to be a little bit less expensive and it's going to make a really nice base to work off of that you can build on over time. If you want to run 35 inch tires on your Jeep, three and a half inches of lift is definitely the way to go. You can always run a smaller 33 inch tire with a three and a half inch lift kit if you wanted to. But again, in my opinion, it's going to look a little bit funny and you can go up to a 37. But as we said before, going to give up some up travel and therefore some off-road performance. So 35s go really well with three and a half inches of lift on a JK. And if you do want to run that setup, I would definitely recommend looking at this JK J spec three and a half inch J control lift kit. Now this is really the opposite of that rough country lift kit. That rough country lift kit is a more budget friendly starter lift kit. This has all of the bells and whistles. This has everything that you could want in a lift kit and it is going to also carry a higher price. This kit's going to have of course your springs and your shocks. This is going to include a set of Fox shocks so they're going to ride really really comfortably. It'll have your sway bar disconnects. It'll have your track bar brackets but this kit's also going to include an adjustable front track bar and also a flipped drag link. So the track bar bracket that goes along with that will come in this kit as well. So that's going to flatten out your track bar angles. It's going to give you a little bit of a nicer ride with three and a half inches of lift. And you're also going to get some geometry brackets that are going to help fix your pinion and your caster angle without the need for more expensive control arms. So like I said, this is a very complete kit. This does have a lot of really high quality, well-built components in it. So if you have the budget and you're looking for a very high quality three and a half inch lift kit to squeeze 35s under your JK, this is going to be a really nice kit to look at. 
Of course, if you want to run 37 inch tires on your Jeep, you're going to need the biggest lift and that's going to be something right around four inches for your JK. Of course, as we've said before, you can always run a smaller tire. It's just going to look a little bit funny and not that you'd want to run something much bigger than a 37, but if you tried to, you would have some clearance issues. Now, if you're going to be running a big lift like this, you're going to need all of the components that go along with it to make everything work properly. And this TerraFlex four inch lift kit with flex arms, but without shocks, that also includes a front track bar, is going to be a very inclusive kit, except like it says in the name, it doesn't come with shocks. You will have to add that if you decide to go with this lift kit. So you're gonna have your springs and spring spacers that make up your four inches of lift, all of your bump stop extensions, uh, track bar brackets, of course, that front adjustable track bar. The kit also is gonna have your brake lines, all of those other hardware pieces that go with everything like this. But as it says in the name, this kit also includes a set of flex arms. So this is going to help fix your pinion and your caster angle, both front and rear, and also give you a ton more articulation. And this also does have your adjustable track bar, which will allow you to fully center that front axle underneath the Jeep. All you really need to add to this kit are a set of shocks and you have a kit that is very, very complete. Of course, because this has all the components, including all eight control arms, this is going to be a more expensive lift kit than a lot of the other ones on the market. Now, it is also important to note that if you plan on running a set of 37 inch tires, a four inch lift kit is not the only thing you're going to need. You're also going to need to beef up your axles, do gears, a few other things. But as far as what lift goes with what tire, 37s, you're gonna wanna go with a four inch lift kit or even more. So those are the four main lift kit sizes you can get for your JK and which tire sizes I would recommend to go with each one of those. I'm Ryan from ExtremeTerrain.com. Remember, subscribe to our YouTube channel to check out other great videos like this as well as other great Jeep content. Thanks for watching.